Hi, my name is uh, Craig Peltier. I'm a captain with the Vernon Fire Department. Uh, Vernon is located in Southern California, just southeast of downtown Los Angeles. And I'm here today to uh, give you a little walk around of our two new puck pumpers uh, from Pierce Manufacturing. Hey, we uh, chose the Pierce puck because our uh, battalion chief in charge of apparatus gave us two goals, to shorten the wheelbase and to maximize compartment space as much as possible. Uh, we did a lot of research and the Pierce puck was the only apparatus that actually did that for us. So we, we went from a 182 wheelbase on our current apparatus to a 177 and almost doubled our compartment space with the puck. And I'll show you some more features down the rig here that make this rig unique. Being from Southern California, we deal with floods, brush fires, structure fires, everything. So we're required to carry uh, equipment for everything. We got, we got to be ready for whatever they call us for. So up on the roof part, uh, we have a lot of uh, custom compartment space to carry our uh, swift water rescue gear, our wildland strike team gear. Uh, that's not normal for some of the pucks that have been designed here. Um, basically all the other compartments here are, are basically really the same. Uh, we have some pull-out uh, cabinets, some pull-out drawers, some slide-out trays for equipment and uh, storage of uh, tools and uh, fittings. Another unique thing that we did because of our city being all commercial and industrial, we actually had two four-inch discharges placed on the captain's side. Uh, being all commercial and industrial, we have very large fires and we flow a lot of water. So we need that four-inch uh, outlet to, to accomplish that goal. As being part of the apparatus committee, I'm also the communication person for my fire department. And one of the unique things that we did here on this rig is we took the heaters out of the cab area. Being from Southern California, we really don't need the heaters. And we stored our radios uh, gear inside the heater compartments. Uh, another thing we did, and uh, I was told this is the, one of the first times Pierce has done this, is we actually have a door on the captain's side of the apparatus that leads into a, an EMS compartment or an area where the captain could store all his protective clothing and not be in the cab anywhere uh, with him and the personnel. Another thing we did, is, as we all know being in the fire service, one of the things that always happens is, is we have the siren and the air horn buttons down on the floorboard. Accidents happen, people step on them. What we did on this apparatus is we moved them up onto the cowling and just used some push buttons for the air horn and the mechanical siren. Uh, it will alleviate any accidents of someone accidentally honking the horn or, or pushing on the siren, uh, whether it be at night or in some residential neighborhood. All right, uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, taking the time to walk around our two new pucks with us. Again, my name is Craig Peltier from the Vernon Fire Department in Southern California. I'd like to thank Pierce, South Coast uh, Fire Equipment, and of course the greatest salesman ever, Adrian Beyer. Thank you.